few weeks ago, my friend Sunny sent me a text. She was on holiday in Prague and she'd purchased these inexpensive watercolors that she was completely raving about. She sent me a few photographs and I noticed that the colors were really vibrant. And so I thought, I have some watercolors that she might also be interested in trying out. So when she returned, we had a meeting where we both painted with five of the top brand watercolors that I own as well as her inexpensive watercolor set. So in this video, I'm going to show you the footage from our time together. I'll show you the little swatches and the paintings that we did for all of the watercolors. And finally, we're going to rate the watercolors as to which ones are our favorites and our least favorites. And I have to say, I was completely surprised by the one that we both disliked the most. And I was also a little bit surprised at the one that I decided is my favorite. I'll start by introducing you to all of the watercolors that we painted with, and then show you the footage of our work and our rating of it. And one thing that I want to start by saying before I begin the video is, I personally think that the best watercolor is the one that you already have. You don't need to spend money on different watercolors. My advice if you want to paint with watercolors is to paint with the supplies that you have, no matter how inexpensive or expensive they are. And if you decide you really love the medium and later on want to explore different brands, then maybe this video will be a little more interesting. There's nothing wrong with that either. And I honestly believe there's not one best watercolor brand. Everybody is different and everybody is looking for different qualities in their paint. So hopefully this video will give you some insights into the things that we really liked about certain brands and the things that we didn't like so much about other ones. And so with that said, let's get into it. Sunny will be bringing her own paint, but these are the five of mine that I thought she might like to explore. And I also thought it would be a fun exercise for me to compare them in paintings that are basically the same subject matter and the same color palette. I've never really done that before and thought this was a good opportunity. So the first paint is Sennelier and it's in this little pink tin. And to be honest, these are pretty old. They're about 10 years old and I'd kind of written them off. I bought this set of tubed Sennelier paints and then I created a dried palette from them, which you can see on the left. It was a long time ago that I bought them, probably more than 10 years ago. And I remember that I was really excited at the time I think it was the first paint that I bought after Windsor and Newton to try. And my memory of them is that I really didn't like them because I thought they were a little bit too vibrant. But Sunny seems to like more vibrant colors. And for that reason, I thought it would be a good one to include in this little comparison. The colors that I'll be using today are Lemon Yellow, Sennelier Yellow Light, Phthalo Cyanine Blue, Ultramarine Deep, Opera Rose, and Burnt Sienna. For the Windsor Newton, I'll be using my Classic Limited palette. And the colors in this that I'll use are the Bismuth Yellow, the Cadmium Yellow Pale, Cadmium Red, Permanent Alizarin Crimson, Raw Sienna, Windsor Blue Green Shade, which is my Phthalo Blue, French Ultramarine, and Burnt Sienna. Next, I have the M. Graham, and for this, I'm probably going to use this little palette just to keep things a little more similar in the comparison. But the bottom few in here aren't M. Graham, and because it's a blue heavy palette, I'm going to also use this little floral palette that has a cooler yellow and a green. And the colors I'll be using are the Cadmium Yellow Light, Cadmium Yellow, Cadmium Red, Yellow Ochre, French Ultramarine, Russian Blue, Hooker's Green, and Transparent Red Oxide. This brand are Schminka. I bought this set probably, I don't know, six or seven years ago. There was a little art store in a nearby town that was going out of business and they were selling the tins separately. And then they had all of the different paint cakes. And so I put together this little palette. And similar to the Sennelier, I didn't really like them in comparison to the Windsor and Newton. I know a lot of people love them and that Schmincke is their favorite watercolor paint. But for me, I always felt they were a little bit too vibrant. And yeah, nothing personal against them. I just always preferred the Windsor and Newton. But again, my memory of these is that the colors are a bit more vibrant. And so I thought Sunny might like them. 
and they are a major brand. So I thought they had a place in this comparison. And the colors that I'll be using from this tin are the Lemon Yellow, Cadmium Yellow Light, Cadmium Red Light, Alizarin, Permanent Olive, Cerulean, Ultramarine, and Burnt Sienna. And I'll also be using the Daniel Smith, which is the paint brand that I've been using the most lately. And I've decided to test out my portable palette on this. I started using the Daniel Smith colors when I started my tiny paintings because the colors that I had fit perfectly in my tiny palette. And I really like them. I've been using them for a few years now, and I'm probably using them as often as I'm using the Windsor and Newton. So for tiny paintings, I tend to use the Daniel Smith, and for larger paintings, I've been using the Windsor & Newton. Both of those paints are a little bit softer, which I like. And so the colors that I'll be using today are the Bismuth Vandate Yellow, New Gamboge, Pyral Scarlet, Quinacridone Rose, Transparent Yellow Oxide, Phthalo Blue Green Shade, French Ultramarine, and Transparent Red Oxide. And I'll also add a few touches of the Raw Umber, the Jadeite Genuine, and the Van Dyke Brown. Although I'm not sure in practice if I'll use these. I think I forgot to press record on the footage of Sunny's watercolor set, so I thought I would also introduce it to you here. This is the Koenor Analinki set. For those of you who don't know, Koenor is an art company that's based in the Czech Republic that have been making art products since the late 1700s, and they're largely known for their pencils. The Analinki set is water-soluble, and unlike all of the other ones that we used in this little contest of ours, the Analinki is dye-based instead of pigment-based. And so that means that the colors are actually much more intense, and they're more similar to inks like Dr. P. H. Martin or Derwent's Ink Tense pencils. So they're not necessarily a like for like comparison with the pigment based watercolors. And because they're dye based, there really isn't any information about what these paints are made from. Sadly, they don't even give them names. The colors that I ended up using for my little painting were the yellow, the orange, the red, a little bit of this lighter green both the warmer blue and the cooler blue, the purple, and this brownish color. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we each have our things. I really like that one. I hate that one, but thank you. <laughs> Maybe the trick is I should spend a third of the amount of time I normally do. Yeah. So you have your swatches of all the colors, and then you did three little paintings of the ones that you liked the best, I guess. Yeah. So the Schminka, the Daniel Smith, and then yours. I started the wheelbarrow, but I gave up. Oh, you started with M. Graham? Yeah. And you just didn't like it? Or you just thought you I, were underwhelmed? I didn't like the drawing that I did. Okay. I didn't do the Daniel Smith and the Windsor Newton yet. I'll do that one after you've gone. Sunny has to catch a train and leave us. <laughs> <laughs> so I did the Sennelier, the Koenor, the yours, your Koenor, mm. like inexpensive ones, the Schminka and the M. Graham. And I guess we're going to rate them now. So I'm also going to include my knowledge of Windsor and Newton and Daniel Smith. It's kind of hard because I don't have them here, but obviously I like those because I use them all the time. So I might do an update when Sunny's not here just on my own with my thoughts about those two after I add them. But for now, what was your least favorite? Out of these? Out of all of the ones that, out of all of them. No, not of my artwork. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's your least favorite of the paints? <laughs> that's pretty was that M. Graham or Sennelier that's Sennelier yeah I, I don't like this one you don't like the Schminka no. I thought you would really like it isn't that funny it just feels rubbery from the honey is that what you said no say? the Sennelier <laughs> M. Graham oh wait yeah M. Graham does use honey and so does Sennelier these two are both honey based no these two Schminka doesn't oh the Schminka is just, you know, your traditional kind of thing. So you just didn't like Schminka. It felt rubbery. Yeah. Okay. And they all felt the same. <laughs> except for the rubbery one. Yeah, and except except for mine. So yours is the best. 
<laughs> so there you have it. You only need to spend about four quid. <laughs> Get yourself a set of this. I liked these. I thought they were really fun. They didn't feel natural. Mm. And they're dye based, whereas the other ones are pigment based. And to me, I felt like I couldn't lighten them. I didn't have the control to lighten things in the same way. Although you seem to be able to do it. But they're <laughs> heavier. They just feel a bit heavier. Yeah. Like that really translucent wash, I couldn't really do, which could just be my deficiency. I was struggling with the M gram today. I think it could be just because I didn't have as many colors as I would have liked. That's I, a really nice yellow. Sorry. Oh, thank you. That was just mixing a couple different yellow. I think the raw sand and the yellow ochre. Mm. I really didn't like the schminka no. either. <laughs> maybe maybe I have bad schminka. Maybe like I need to get a new, I don't know. No, I didn't. <laughs> I've never really liked it. I know a lot of people love it and do beautiful work with it. I've never enjoyed it. I did enjoy the Sennelier, which really surprised me. Yeah. And I didn't love, like I said, I didn't love the M. Graham, but I think that was me. I didn't enjoy the Schminka. I did enjoy yours for fun. I wouldn't do it for realism. But, no. But maybe I need to just sketch for fun more and a set like that could be fun. It was nice having a ready-made purple and a ready-made mm -hmm. orange, which I usually never do because I'm always painting realistically. But maybe if I was just going to do some fun sketches, I quite liked it. But the Sennelier, I might have to, I might have to explore the Sennelier some more. Yeah. And then I obviously I know I like Daniel Smith and Windsor Newton. It's going to be interesting to experiment with those in here, which I'll do. And I'll let you know. I'll send you a text. Okay. You when, do that today? I'm going to do it after I drop you off at okay. the train. I'm going to come home because I don't like to leave things unfinished. I'll feel like oh, I have a chore to do. <laughs> so I'll just come back. I'm going to do the, those flower pots. Maybe I'll do the yellow frog and, and put them there. And then I'll have the whole garden spread with the different paints. But yeah, the Schminka was underwhelming. Of the four that I did today, I like the Sennelier the best, which I've, it's been sitting in my drawer for years because I've just dismissed it. But I think I might explore that one some more. Yeah. So your favorite besides yours, if you had to pick one, you did a beautiful one with the Daniel yeah, Smith. Yeah, I like Daniel Smith. That was nice. Yeah, you got beautiful colors with that. It looks like, it looks digital. It's nice. Okay. So that's it. Yeah. So Daniel Smith and Sennelier were the winners. Yeah. And Schminka's the big loser. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, neither one of us liked it. So that's very interesting. Yeah. So everybody can talk in the comments about how wrong we are. Yeah. That's that. Just to wrap up a few of my final thoughts, like I said at the beginning, there is no one perfect watercolor brand. One thing that this reinforced for me is that different artists like different things. And we're really lucky to live in a time where we have a lot of different options. I was a little bit surprised that Sunny doubled down on her inexpensive watercolors. I thought by showing her these more expensive professional watercolors, she would have an aha moment like, oh, I've discovered the one that I love. But she really liked the simplicity of the watercolors that were dye based. And it also reinforced to me that I really prefer pigment based watercolors. I've worked with dyes before and not really loved them. That said, I might use these in the future if I was just going to do some fun watercolor sketches. The permanence of the ink and the fact that you can't really work them in the same way that you can with pigment-based watercolors might be a fun exercise for quicker sketches or quicker paintings or even urban sketching. For more realistic colors, which is how I prefer to paint, I really prefer watercolors that are pigment-based. I was personally surprised by a few things. I was surprised by how much I liked Sennelier. I had really written them off. I had almost thought about donating them to somebody, but they were kind of pricey. <laughs> and I don't know, I've just kept them over the years. And now I want to explore them a little more. And this also reinforced the fact that I'm not a big fan of Schminka. And my watercolors are a bit older, so maybe I owe it to the company to test some newer ones and see if I still feel the same way. 
And if you've watched the last video, you'll know that I also just got some granulating schminka, and I don't know how I'll feel about those. Maybe the granulating ones will be a completely different experience for me. I have enjoyed painting with M. Graham recently. I didn't enjoy it so much in this instance, and I think it was because of the colors that I had. Or maybe it was the subject matter. But interestingly, my husband and my daughter both loved the painting that I did with the M. Graham more than any of the others, so there's something to be said for that. The biggest surprise to me was that I really struggled with the Daniel Smith this time. And so then I started thinking about all of the other times that I've painted with Daniel Smith, and I thought I do maybe have some problems sometimes getting the vibrant colors to show up. So that's something I'm definitely going to think about and consider going forward as I do more paintings with Daniel Smith. And then finally, the biggest surprise for me was that Windsor Newton was hands down my favorite. It was the quickest sketch of all the ones that I did. I was effortlessly able to achieve all of the colors that I wanted, and the vibrancy remained in the colors that I wanted to remain vibrant. So, I don't know, maybe I need to stop messing around and thinking that there's a replacement and just keep painting with Windsor and Newton. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to know what watercolors you like or don't like, and which colors you liked best in the paintings that we did today. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a beautiful day and happy painting. A few weeks ago, my friend Sunny sent me a text from Prague where she was vacationing. That sounds so pretentious. No, get down. And then these are Shmika. George. Poppy, can you share your toys with George? Oh my God, a spider just honestly spawned on my leg. Do you ever do that? No. It's refreshing. Yeah. Well, what if I have makeup? It won't matter, it's just a mist. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. So Daniel Smith. Yeah. And Schminka are the winners. Schminka? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we hated that one. I know. <laughs>